I've never been a big Captain America fan. Any superhero who purposely ties themselves to a country rather than fans doing that themselves, a la Superman, generally rub me the wrong way. No country is without bloodshed that it won't admit to, especially not America. This comic instead is about a national hero for a nation who has even more red in their ledger than America. If that bothers you, I doubt Captain Carter is going to change your mind with this issue. It didn't change mine. That's not to say Captain Carter isn't fun, this issue is fun and the character is likable enough and more respectable than Steve in some aspects. She doesn't let people talk over her as Steve sometimes will since he's what many would call a respectful boy. Captain Carter is a true soldier with a heart of gold, who will also politely let you know that she can smell smoke a mile away. She's this from the gecko where Steve Rogers kind of develops into this kind of character. Her characterization in this book lands overall I think. It does enough that will separate her from Steve Rogers, but confirm why she will guard in the same respect even if that hasn't been shown yet. It's enough that it will work for Captain America fans I believe, The more on that later. This book also handles the literal politics of being a government project to entertaining effect in the first few pages. Reading about how the US, the UK, and Russia argue over who gets to take her home is bound to make a few eyebrows raise, as it should. Captain Carter's first meeting with the Prime Minister also goes over just as well, which sets up her place in the world really well. So why hasn't this changed my mind about the Captain America family of comics? Because this story, tit for tat, feels just like the story of Steve Rogers. The difference is that it has a more outspoken Brit as the main character. She goes through, almost beat for beat, Steve Rogers' rebooted origin story where he emerges from the ice. She reacts similarly. She has the same depressing attitude towards everything and how the world has changed. She even has similar quips about her situation and mourning her lost friends and family. I may not be a Captain America fan, but I know his origin story well enough I don't need to go through it all again with a different character. Using the first issue to go over it again misses the mark with me because of that in so many ways. This doesn't mean the rest of the series won't be something new, but unless they drastically change Captain Carter's characterization, I see this story being little more than a slight riff off the main Marvel 616 universe. If you just want to see more of the character from the Great What If episode, you'll probably enjoy this. If you're looking for something to put a real twist on Captain America's origins, Captain Carter may disappoint you. What would you want? Captain Carter to be more like Steve Rogers, or to feel more like her own thing? Let me know in the comments below and check out other comic reviews.